stage one complete hold shed moved now to shift that stuff in there let's go take all this up and these and I've made a mark here it sort of fades off the shed's been dragged across it here and then got to dig all that out from that post across all the way down all the way across this tree's coming out that is as well I think that can stay and all of that can stay I believe I have to do the measuring up with nice coverage from the neighbours at the back so yeah Getting there. It's just got to sweep this out. Temporary shelter. It's tiny. It's what's that? Three feet wide. Four. Three and up. I don't know. Small. And I bump my head every time I come up. Oh, stuff. Oh, he's a big boy. So we rescued this critter. I don't know if you can see him beautiful butterfly, it's hard to tell, They're getting him warmed up, he was hibernating. Are you going to do your thing? Are you going to do your thing? Look, he had beautiful colours inside. No. So here we are next morning and taking up all the slabs, stacking them over there. I'm gonna run a path across the back of the board and they're cemented in so Lamp hammer later, it's a bit too early for the neighbours at the moment. Yeah, worms, it's a good sign. Run a string as well last night, didn't get to film it. Of oh, 320 centimetres. Two hundred and eighty, roughly just past here, but couldn't get a stake in the ground, so it's about there. It's about an inch or so past it. I mean, when this is all clear, I'll be running another one across there. Get everything square. Done. Just at that point now where I'm not sure to use this bad boy and break this up. This is concrete in solid. I 
Or do I keep it and extend it? Hmm. Any ideas? What would you do? Hmm. Um. Don't know. Have to ponder on it for a while. a lot of work getting this up. And if it's all true and level, there's nothing stopping me extending it out here. Like this. And around. Hmm. Okay, after some deliberation, it's coming out, and I've realised they're not actual bricks. They're slabs. Faux brick. Over some concrete so I'm going to lift them move them over there keep the base and kind of extend it I think or smash this into dust and spread it but uh, we'll get to that bit but yeah take these up and carry on Gone for now. Vicariously stacked. So, there's lamb on there. Kind of wish I never took the other ones up now. Oh, well, but we have little tiles which is good for little stepping stones and maybe a bit of a path around the back and the sort of through here across and round here, past this corner. So, yeah. Right, so we've got the other side marked out now. Got it pretty much square. It's a lump, and that's uh, eight foot uh, from the, obviously, where the tape's measuring up. So that's the back to the front. So there'll be a little area here. I'll extend it out if I need to, once the shed's in, but that's where the base is gonna come up to this red line. Maybe, yeah, enough. a little bit out the front. Doormat maybe. You never know, I might cut a nice semi-circle or something and or maybe even have flowers here. Pretty it up a bit, but so far that's what you're looking at. <laughs> right, so we've leveled ish the hole this is my excavated stuff this was the concrete sort of 
sand and cement original base so as you can see that's the tilt of the earth and that is if I don't go in focus that's flat ish that's my cut line there into the soil and now I'm just getting a frame in and leveling it up because as you can see from here it's a bit of a tw big twist in this piece of wood anyway but the far end is touching the earth and then it just fades off here and comes into flat so I'm moving the frame now didn't intend to do that really but oh well 80 quid less later so this is my first corner I'm coming off of this I'm going to come off this square because they're now longer no longer long lengths I'm going to have to somehow join them up try and keep stuff straight as possible no matter too much as long as it's level then there once they're in I can probably get most of this scraped over flat level up to that just underneath sand on top and then I'll use the levelled wood to give my final finish of sand and then I can block pave over top of that. That's the plan so far. So yeah. Okay, so first boo-boo. Red line, exact measurement, rough, well, more or less. I've gone on the inside. <clears throat> Which is not a problem, call it early move that over the other side of the line, so I've got to go back another. Four centimeters. Which is not too much of an issue. And keep that line, just make sure that I go back over that side. Oh, it's annoying. Right, so we're now on the other side of the line. This wood has got, I swapped it for something else that's not so twisted, but they're all twisted. But, it should be, if I can hold the camera and get, get a square in there. Whoa, bang on square. Lovely. And, hopefully, I haven't checked this yet. That's level for me. I don't need it. It should come up. I can make it go higher a little bit the other end. This one here. That'll do. Can't afford to be too accurate. Now I've got to cut a bit of timber here. 130. Right. We're in business. So we've got one third of it in and level. It's a bit dark, so hopefully you can see. End of the day, but you can see the rake of the ground. It's quite a steep kind of... So... Uh, where is it? You can see. It's going to meet the end there. Go all the way across. Yeah, it's getting dark now. Time to go in for some food. Right, it's about, I'd say, a week later. Uh, picking up from where we left off, I've put in the back section, it's all screwed in. You can see the twist of the wood is not brilliant, but I'm not in it for complete accuracy, as much as I'd like to, but we haven't got much daylight. 
this time of the year, so you smash through it. That looks a bit out of whack, but it's actually, it is a little bit out of whack, actually, I can knock that back in, but there's a twist in the wood. That's a lot of bit out, actually, isn't it? That's expansion, contraction. We expanded the wood, pushed it out, but, yeah, so I've removed the big pile of earth that was there, separated out the turf. I don't really want that shit. It's a bit claggy and lumpy. Some of the good stuff. This is where it was. And then I've shoveled off some over here just to kind of bring it level, just as a working base. And now I'm jumping up and down on that plank of wood, kind of compacting it in for the moment. Because I don't have a whacker plate. And I can't justify spending 100 quid for just a little area. So it's back to manpower. So that's where we are at the moment. Okay, it's sort of a change of plan. I had an idea of breaking this square of sandy concrete up and then sprinkling it over to level it, create that sub base. I had loads of slabs, I still have. So, nice level, oops, sub base going back in. Roughly come up to the level of the edge of the slab, pre-existing slab. I've worked out here that the thickness laying on its side of my level on the highest spot, which is roughly here, I need 20 mil of sand cement mix to lay my flags on and the flags will then stick up above the level say 30 mil so high point low point this naturally slopes down that way anyway give it a nice base it'll be a thicker layer of sand cement thinning out up here to the more solid stuff and I'll continue this all around here to sort of level and build up. So I know I've got a more or less level area to then lay the sand and cement over the top and set my flags in place. So having superstructure underneath, spreading that load out, sand on top that goes hard, flags on top. I'd say that's an over-engineered base for a shed. Plus, all my heavy tool work, my workbench is going in this corner. Probably an L shape or something, so that's going to be the hardest point anyway. Not that it really matters, the whole thing will be solid. But I'll have a bit more extra peace of mind that underneath my feet in that sort of third of a corner there is going to be rock solid. <laughs> so, I'm now digging out roughly where I want to come down to on the edge of that concrete slab and I'm going to scrape all this away put on there pat it down there's more behind that in there of these dudes so I'll come up to the edge here and I'll start laying these ones in there and then where I've got excess on the edges I'll just break up stuff just for belts and braces, fill in this void here. And then we're ready for the top dress of sand and cement at some point. Plan executed. Another fresh morning, and you can see I've been busy. 
so made a slight cock up but it's not a problem it's mainly just to contain the sand and keep things level so I've had to sort of come in and go that way to that corner and it'll probably it doesn't matter so yeah that was I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the first day or afternoon. I think it was New Year's Day I did that. Twenty nineteen. And then yesterday, which is now the fifth, sixth of January, I did the rest. And everything is level. Try to get the gaps all nice and even. Don't particularly want to walk on it yet. Probably could, but don't need to. Still got a way to go to set. You can see the colour difference between a week ago and yesterday. Just going to crack on. More sand from being cute. Broke the slab. It doing that corner. Didn't hit it hard at all, just snapped. I think it must have been had a fracture in it somewhere. Anyway, only about three pound a pop. Um, so if I got my maths right, I might have to go and buy a new one. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna crack on. Probably do that one first and do that one. And then do one of these and just keep going as an angle across to that one. Getting there slowly. Not bad for the first time properly laying patios. So far so good, all level. Got 17 slabs to go, slightly got to dig a little trench here, come out and run all the way, kind of past that. I'm not taking that as a, obviously a straight edge, just the whole thing's more of a container now. Uh, but yeah, she's looking pretty good. Just a bit of a slog. Right, so I'm upstairs in my bedroom at the moment looking down on an absolutely mammoth task I didn't think it would be for some reason as strenuous as and tough as this but there you go as you can see the existing shed if you want to call it that everything full up to the rafters can't get in it hence why this one's going in I'm on my very last slab now with a bag, half a bag of cement and half a bag of sand left to go. Uh, or left over I should say. So I'm going to use that for pointing and stuff and got a bit of sweeping in to do and things. But the ground is so weird. It sort of tails off that way, drops off down that way uh, and has a slope down towards the edge. So it's I'm constantly checking level and long levels, diagonals, everything, and it's it's completely perfect front to back. And I deliberately had a very slight drop off that way, just because it needs something. I mean, I am ten mil, if that higher on that side than that side so it's what's that it's a centimetre yeah. so it's not it's not noticeable at all um, it's perfect for what I need it for so I thought I'd come up here and just show you the layout of the garden really um, you can see there's more of those horrible patio slabs that are now buried under there forever well not forever but you know what I mean so 
that's a whole other thing. These are all our pots from our old garden that we only moved here about four months ago. And they will be transferred into beds and God knows what else because we basically dug all our garden up and moved it with us. A lot of work to do. Shed's coming on Tuesday, so today's Sunday. So you can see the urgency of this thing now. Um, although I won't be able to get the shed built probably until the Saturday. Um, Saturday, Sunday. So it'll give it plenty of time to go off. This tree here this one is coming out so I'll have Tuesday off to receive the shed so I might start hacking that down first thing in the morning that's the one that protrudes into the back of the shed area so yeah uh Laughing me. <laughs> Brilliant. Done. Happy, happy boy. Almost there. Felt's on, doors are on. We'll put the facial boards up, paint it, done.